Welcome back to our channel Arctic Catalyst. In this video, let us complete model 5. If you are the new visitor to our channel, model 1, 2, 3 and 4 is uploaded in our channel. So you can go through that. So let us start with model 5 now. So after completing all these questions, is it a need or is there a need to study with any other extra questions? Definitely no. I have covered all the PYQs, model paper questions. So I have covered all the 22 scheme available previous year papers. First let us understand what is tool based locking protocol and how it guarantees serializability. See two pays are there growing or expanding pays and shrinking pays. Growing pays is nothing but where you will be reading and writing that is like growing pays and shrinking pays is the pays where you will be unlocking remember if you are applying locking reading or writing or exclusive lock x means exclusive lock r means read w means write s means shared shared lock so if all these operations are performing that is growing pace if you are unlocking something then it is shrinking pace okay just give two examples like see now if you are applying the shared lock on a the shared right so it can be shared with other also so you can take it here also then if you are like applying exclusive lock on b exclusive means it is particular for only one transaction then you can unlock a yes because it is shared it can be used by any then lock d then unlock so like this you can do so mean you should just understand that if it is shared it can be shared by both exclusives only for one transaction now why concurrency control is needed in database first of all what is concurrency control is like you want to execute two transactions at a time both the transactions should be executed at a time that is concurrency occurring in the same time now let us consider one example like we have 5000 in like one bank account is there okay for the same bank account two persons are using the same bank account let us assume it okay now uh, i already have 5000 in my bank account i want to withdraw as a person one i want to withdraw thousand rupees from the bank account my bank account number is thousand one okay so withdraw will happen five thousand minus one thousand will be four thousand then finally i'll write it as 4000 okay now uh, like for the same bank account i want to add 500 deposit 500 so i'll deposit 500 now it becomes 5500 actually in reality it should be how much yes it should be 4500 but here the data gets reflected as 5500 on both the sides like whatever uh, you have withdrawn that will be shown and this will not be shown okay just an example don't think of values then what is no sql explain cap theory no sql is nothing but not only sql where we are retrieving the data for in sql what we used to do we used to apply queries for relational database but no sql we will apply it for non-relational database only difference is this much in sql like database we have structured data here we have unstructured data now very important one like same question is asked in three four types like explain what are the types in uh, no sql what are the categories what are the characters all answer will be same we have four types document based where it will store data as json json file i hope you know javascript like document and key value where it will be showed uh, like stored in the form of key value pairs in um, i think we had it in python dictionary concept then we have column family it will be stored in the form of column based on some format then we have graph based where it will be uh, saved in the form of nodes you can write one examples for it advantage is it is flexible structure and highly we can perform the performance the output is good then ideal for real-time distributed applications cap c means consistency a means availability p means 
partition tolerance consistency is whatever you update in one particular uh, line of database that should be getting reflected then availability is any changes you make or any request you make for any of the uh, data like reading or data it should be available then partition tolerance is mm -hmm. even if the network partitions is low the system should continue to function because we already have log file right then that is the statement what you should write okay remember one statement that is very important in distributed system it is impossible to guarantee all the three all three is not possible any two is only any two or among three you can choose then we have what are document based no sql system explain explain crude very simple document based is you will maintain the no sql format in the document like json file or bson file then uh, in crude options is nothing but create so we want to create create is nothing but we are inserting either we can insert one value like name allies age 21 only one tuple insert many is also possible where you can insert many like name allies age 21 next one name bob age 22 like that then read read is nothing but applying the query operations read is uh, to read what you have to do first you have to find where it is right so same thing uh, like find one only one details or you can find all if you're finding all no need of mentioning anything it will find automatically then update either you can use update one or update many in update we have the keyword called as set you have to use dollar symbol or else uh, the mongodb will not recognize it then delete again it is delete one or delete many next question what we have is explain no sql graph database see no sql system is different no sql graph database is different so obviously graph will have nodes edges and property and the labels so nodes represent entity edge represents relationship properties means that key pair label means a tag which defines that particular node give an example and one more thing as you have to explain about neo4j neo4j is also the open source graph database that uses property of this graph model only so it is designed for fastest traversal what are the features of neo4j is acid compliant compliant as goes hand in hand with acid properties then it supports index free adjacency what are the advantages of graph traversal right write everything then um, in neo4j actually like how for database we have sql similarly for neo4j graph models if you want to retrieve the data we have cypher query language basics this is the domain which i have worked also so creating a node you can just create it by writing person or anything then creating relationships same thing creating node creating relationship then working for the property labeling it all four you have to explain with one example okay then we have schedule schedule is something but uh, nothing but it is the order in which the transaction gets executed we have two types serial schedule which executes one after the other concurrent is both will occur in the same time give one example okay remember in serial schedule one side it should be committed and in other side it should be aborted then we have wait die wait bound sorry wait und in deadlock this was there in uh, operating systems also okay same concept is applied here which works based on the timestamp okay they will use timestamps so if it is older transaction then smaller timestamp younger transaction then larger timestamp older transactions will be given high priority because that system has experienced that particular transaction before and it knows to predict what may be the next move from the user now if transaction of ti is less than transaction of tj then ti should wait if it is greater then ti is rolled one similarly wait and wound here if ti is greater than tj ts is nothing but transaction okay 
if transaction of ti is greater than ta uh, transaction of tj then ti will wait in case of wait and hold in wait and die it will not wait okay this is just two approaches to avoid deadlock then else tj is rolled back so ti can be killed or wounded and tj is terminated then we have neo4j data model so again it is same there is no diagram for data model according to your prescribed textbook and even i've checked the scheme of evaluation they have explained the same characters of neo4j this entire part no you have to write here for this answer okay Exp uh, like explain the characters also now one more important one multiple granularity locking in this like how we had two pace protocol right shared and growing pace and all similarly here we have intention shared that we are share intention shared means we are sharing the request for lower level data and intention exclusive is we are also sharing the request but exclusively for one particular transaction on lower level data only then shared intention exclusive is for upper or lower level data only it can be used for higher level also one example you have to give like the database is there not the relational model here then we have two types so it can be shared exclusively shared intentionally anything this pp you have to write whether it is shared in inclusively or exclusively and all so this is nothing but the representation this representation intention shared okay intention shared and all so if both is happening will it work if these both are both are happening will it work that table you have to write uh, here it is tick mark and wrong in, in exam you write yes or no then how do we prevent deadlocks either we can avoid the deadlock completely we have to detect it and resolve it or we have to deal with the starvation this is not asked much but it is good if you know this question is next in the line to be asked then we have concurrency control based on the timestamp so timestamp is nothing but it is a unique identifier assigned to each transaction which represents what time we have the timestamp data type in sql i hope you know this uh, i have discussed this in module 3 okay then read a read transaction so it is the largest transaction that successfully reads right right will only read now let us look at the rules so in case of read transaction okay like if one transaction t is less than write a transaction of x then x value should be updated to newer transaction else we can just read it and update then we have write in write what happens is our read will come here here it is write here it is read only that much is the change then you have to write advantage and disadvantage of concurrency control based on timestamp. It ensures serializability, no deadlock can happen. So remember, like in deadlock prevention, you can add one more option called as we can control it based on the timestamp order. Timestamp order means nothing but this particular resource is available for that transaction only within that particular limited time okay then advantage disadvantages is rollback will happen here in this case and it may affect systems performance so by this we are ending our dbms syllabus wishing you guys all the very best and i am expecting a like for this video and also if you are new kindly subscribe i'll update with the next subject as well all the best once again